Okay. Nick, um, I want you to be... So imagine where this is like a press conference. Uh-huh. Um, you can be the over-eager um, news person, journalist <laughs> in the audience. Um, I am the president CEO of um, MGG Gaming and its <laughs> subsidiary, Frycraft LLC. Um, yes. And I'm, gonna, I'm making my statement, and you can be that eager um, journalist <laughs> trying to get the scoop for whatever your news channel is. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I'm walking out on stage right now. Mr. President, Mr. <laughs> President. Please, do you have a please, statement? Questions, questions till the end. I will make my statement. <clears throat> um, people of gaming, I am renowned CEO of NVG Gaming and its subsidiary, Frycraft LLC. Um, Jacob Megaritz fan. And um, today I have sad news that for. Four months, starting in sometime in March. I don't actually know when. Um, <laughs> I will be going to New York City, New York State, somewhere in there, in New Jersey, with a guy that I know um, for doing construction for like four months. Um, so in that time, podcasts and gaming and things like such will be not well in gaming sense probably rare but podcast will hopefully will I'll try to find something that we can do or that I can just do to like um cuz cuz I'd be working at night a lot and um hey you will be twinning <laughs> yeah but um I don't know. It'd be hard. I think it's going to be hard to find a time where the both of us are free, and then it's like dealing with yeah. motel Wi-Fi or wherever I am, if it has <laughs> oh, Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So it may be a lot of um, shorter efforts, short episodes, episodes, um, and so it may just be me talking instead of me and you. Um, <laughs> but I promise that. Tigong will find a way, um, and that this is a mere roadblock um, in the way of Tigong's bright future and NVG's bright future. We shall make it through somehow, um, some way. I'm now open to questions from the floor if you um, have questions, like this journalist in the front, um, skinny, <laughs> skinny guy, if you'd like to ask your question now. Ah. Uh. Sir, what kind of motel are you going to? <laughs> what kind? Uh, um. Well, as the president and CEO, headphones right here. <laughs> as the president and CEO of NVG Gaming and its subsidiary Frycraft LLC, um, we're only staying at the highest of uh, priority privileged hotels, motels. So a Motel Six, oh, most likely. Um. <laughs> The best motel of all yes. of them. Yes, um, maybe a day's in if we're feeling a little bit fancy. Um, <laughs> but that's all I know about the hotels. So, any other questions from the audience? Uh, what kind of uh, work are you doing? Um, it's like building demol. It's like demolishing <laughs> something. It's, they're building a like a okay. It's like a Coles, I think. We're like make building a Sephora inside of a Coles, I think's what it is. Interesting. I don't know. They gotta get that Sephora going on, you know? <laughs> I guess. Gotta live that Sephora life in, yeah. in the old Coles. <laughs> oh man. So that's that's my briefing. That that might be fun. Are you gonna you're gonna ha are you gonna have fun with uh, sledgehammers? <laughs> like breaking stuff? <laughs> I'll try. I mean I mean, I already don't sleep at night, really. But I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to work at night either. I don't know. Personally, I've always preferred the night shift. I mean, that's why I actively <laughs> choose night shift. Or, yeah. like, afternoons and stuff. Like, that. those those are the hours that I want to be awake. 
Oh, <laughs> screw being um, awake when the sun's up. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> uh, by the way, welcome to the Chicago Podcast. I would probably bomb the Pacific. Um, Interesting. Why? I don't know. I think it'd look cool. Um, post <laughs> that one on Explosion. Facebook. Or meta book. Meta. Meta. I mean meta. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Just blot out the sky with smoke. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I just like, want to say this on the record. Pokimane has bigger balls than Ninja. I'm gonna say it. It's true. Yes, and he walks forward a step and four scissors come down and lodge themselves into the floor. Into the carpet. <laughs> because they fall from the ceiling. <laughs> He's been alive? Oh my god, This is so wrong! This is so wrong! Uh, <laughs> Welcome to my Facebook Live! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um... Oh yes, welcome. I mean... <laughs> yeah, that's not a joke, by the way, for all listening. That's... I will be gone for like four months. Um... Oh, man. But... Yeah, we'll... I'll find something. Um... It's gonna yeah. be interesting. How we figure this out? <laughs> yeah, I I thought about um doing like shorter episodes where it's, if like we can't get if it's like just impossible for us to get together, I would do like an episode that is like shorter and it's gonna be like so instead yeah. of being like the next one would be like seventeen instead of being seventeen it'd be like sixteen point one or something and it's just gonna be <laughs> me talking or like I don't know. <laughs> Just many sodes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 basically. And then whenever we can get together, we'll drop it. So it'll still try to come out on Sundays, but again, you know, no promise. I don't know if you'd be, kind of be every, every week, every other week, every month. Hopefully not every <laughs> month, but yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, where comes the worst? Uh, we could do every two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. That way we have enough time to. Get stuff together. I mean, worst comes to worst, I could just ask you to do something. And yeah, like, and the password to the account. Yeah, and since I actually have uh, the same recording software as you do, uh, I could actually potentially edit the videos and such if need be. Yeah. So yeah, th- think things will things will work out. Yeah, it'll somewhat. work out. Let's um, just wing it. <laughs> we already wing it. You're right. You're right. <laughs> That's my life's right. motto right there. Just wing it. All right, moving on. That's the that's the depressing info. Um, but anyways, so I went to the bank today. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the bank. Yeah, it's dude. Banks are so archaic, dude. I hate the bank so much. <laughs> like, uh, uh, so and also like, so I went to college few months and then I dropped out um because I was sad um <laughs> among other things but it was mostly because I was sad um that's fair and I I so I had like a loan to pay off um and mm-hmm. I had the money in my savings account so I was like okay I'll pull the money out of my savings and then pay for it or whatever um yeah and and my dad was like okay how do you want to pay it and I was like um I'll just take it out of my savings. And he was like, are you sure? It's like, yeah. <laughs> and I just, and I can, I knew he was probably thinking like, well, if you leave it in your savings and use some, some of the money from your checking, you'll be able to get money through interest. And I'm like, dude, by the time I'm dead, the interest would have probably compiled to like $20. So it's yeah. like uh, not worth yeah. it. Yeah. The interest is really small. Like yeah. it's, yeah. I mean, if I live to be a thousand, maybe I'll get like a hundred dollars, mm-hmm. but. And like loans, the interest on those are just so much more than the interest you make off of just having money sitting there. Yeah. It's like, ah, what? It just paid off. I feel you. I'm with yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. But we went to the. We did like. So I, have, I had a bunch of coins under my desk in a Pokemon card tin. We poured all <laughs> those out into like a corn separator and I made like $47 off of change 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 oh nice um that was cool but again I I need to do that one day myself (laughs) it's it's again like you know (laughs) and I also had to 
so I had to with like deposit that into my checking or whatever. Uh huh. Um, and like, dude, it's like I have to know so much stuff when I go up there, and like this, and like I after I had already deposited it, and uh, she was like, okay, sign on the thing, and I was like, okay, so I went to sign. I can't, I I can't do cursive, by the way. Um, I can't write in cursive. Um, anyway, but it didn't matter because this trackpad thing that they wanted me to write on didn't track very well. So where I pushed the pin down, it went up like in two inches or something. So instead of being right on the line, it was like a a foot above it. So, (laughs) and it was like (laughs) scribbly and I couldn't like, mm, it was awful. When I had a sign for that, um, I kept clicking like the try again button because like on mine, there was like a erase all or whatever so i would be like okay c- time to correct it every time it looked just as bad yeah. like oh my god because i had to sign my name for like my uh, state id or whatever and it looks so bad oh goodness yeah it's not nice it's yeah and that's why i really i do want to do like some kind of mobile bank and i i mean i don't really want to be the guy who's like everything's online now Oh, everything should be online. I love the internet, but <laughs> I do want everything to be online, especially things like banking, because it's just uh, aggravating, tiresome, extremely yeah. um, specific, and like punishing if you're wrong. So yeah, God, I hate all of the banking apps. Like. I think I had talked to you about this, like, a month ago or so. Yeah, like I think how... we talked about banking one time. Yeah. Um, like, I was trying to log into my banking stuff, and it was saying my social security was wrong, or that my password was wrong. And I was like, okay. Uh, which, I knew both were false, because, you know, I was reading it off of my social security card that I currently have. And I just oh, used yeah, to... Oh, yeah, can you read that off? <laughs> Okay, it's like five, nine, eight. No, all right, all right. <laughs> um, but, and like, it was, or if my pin was wrong. And I was like, no, I used that pin like two hours ago. Um, what it didn't tell me was that the user ID was wrong. <laughs> like, it was saying, oh yeah, uh, this is the wrong password for this user ID. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> it did not recognize that that was not a user ID and would not tell me that. And it angered me to no end. I was yeah. so... Furious. It's like, uh, there's they're, also they're like, um, when like lots of the stuff we did in high school, we were trying to sign up for like, well, not in high school, but like in um, when you're like trying to sign up for college or like student loans or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess you didn't do, but um, <laughs> like you have to sign up for like government accounts and like accounts for this stuff. And they're always, like, with the passwords, like, okay, you have to have five special characters, three uppercase, one lowercase, <laughs> ten letters. It's like, uh, or ten numbers. Yeah. yeah it's like. <laughs> I always hate stuff like that. God, it's so put annoying. Put in three digits from your social security number. It's like, bro. And it's like, Ooh. it's all such mis- miscellaneous stuff. It's like, I'm never going to remember any of this. Yeah, I was like, who's like, stealing my transcript, dog? Like, why is this so important? Right? I now understand why, like, all of, like, the old people in my life have these, like, big, thick notebooks of random passwords that clearly don't exist anymore. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, I gotta save my password for my old, like, email, and it's, like, like oil banking or something. Like, there's, like, apparently an old email thing for, like, an oil company. And my grandma still uses it. And, like, it's, like, they stopped giving those out in, the, like, the, in, like, 85 or something. And it's, like, <laughs> like, it, I feel like it was before the internet at certain points. <laughs> like, it makes no sense why they still have these email passwords for emails they that literally don't exist anymore. It's, like, You never why? know, man. You never know and, when. And now I understand. I never know when AOL will come back, dude. <laughs> Don't you miss AOL? I never used AOL. I just know it's a thing. <laughs> I bet you did, because you're old. Um, <laughs> I actually, I actually have used it before. Yeah. Big uh, surprise there. Was, uh, 
Then it was changed to AIM, I believe, which was AOL Instant Messaging. Um, yeah. But it, then I think they got bought out by someone else. I think it was Slack, I think, bought them out. Um, but it's been a while. Slack is in, like, the business... Um, what is it? They're, like, a... They, like, do business... They're, like, a yeah, canvas, yeah. but for businesses, basically. So um, they, like, it, put... It's, like, messaging business. for businesses, mostly. Um, yeah. Like, they essentially bought AIM, which was just AOL, uh, because they wanted a new messaging system. Yeah. Yeah, it's priority business communication. That's right. Yeah, it was weird. Slack is killing email. Thank God. I hate yeah. email. I I really don't like email either. Like, it never notifies me of emails ever. It's like, yes, give me these emails. Like, no, send a notification to my phone saying I got an email from so and so. And it's like, nope. It's like, oh, yeah, you missed it by like two weeks. It's like, <sighs> come on. Like, I, that, yeah. like, that Pokemon server almost got deleted because, like, I didn't get notified about the email. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I was so, I was going to be so mad. <laughs> yeah, it's really stupid. Jeez. I mean, like, but yeah. there's just so many better ways to talk to people online other than email. Like, yeah, it's like the worst communication. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, like, did, you, yeah. <laughs> did you know that the phrase nitty gritty is racist? Is it really? It apparently has, I didn't really look this up, but I saw it. Um, it apparently has, um, meaning, or not meaning, but, like, it has, um, history with, like, the slave trade, I think. I'm pretty sure. Really? Uh -huh. That's wild. Huh. Yeah, so... I never knew that. All those southern moms saying, it's just, just in the nitty-gritty, y'all, they're all racist. Um... <laughs> Dude, I never knew I was so racist. I say that term all the time. <laughs> Let's get down yeah. to the nitty gritty of well, things, you know? Like, it's like, dude, oh no. Dude, dude, stop, bro. Dude, I need to stop. You're so right. Like, oh, nitty gritty is a cool thing. You should just say it all the time. I never say <laughs> nitty gritty, so I mean, I'm cool. I mean, I am now. But, <laughs> I think you've you know. said it more in this one podcast than you've said in your whole life. <laughs> well, I've probably said it before, but I mean, I. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Um like that's yeah. crazy. Like sometimes there's just phrases that you never think about the origin. Like because it's just people say this and this is just what exists. Yeah. It's wild. Um the bull bull cut, you know, like the hairstyle where your head is all hair uh, and it's all yes. going down. That's yes, I hate, that's a I hate symbol for this. white power, I think now. Is it really? I think Oh think my goodness. So? Don't quote me on Why? that. <laughs> of course the worst haircut is the for was... white power. <laughs> yeah, white people don't have much style. <laughs> Jeez, oh my goodness. Oh, I found out why people were thinking the OK uh, sign was a symbol for white power. I, like, because I'd heard about that, and I was like, that's stupid. Why would someone think that? That's stupid. Um, but apparently it's because, like, your fingers make it look like there's a W and a yeah. P. And, and I'm like, what? P. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how? How did you get this from an okay symbol? I think that was, <laughs> like, um, um, people on, like, 4chan? Oh, man, this is gonna be so wrong, but I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> I think it was people on 4chan being, like, Guys, whenever someone does the okay symbol, they're actually being racist. Like, it was like a troll or something. And then the media was like, <gasps> the okay sign is racist. Everyone's doing the white power. Oh my goodness. Dude, Everyone's I racist. Good, I absolutely, yeah. <laughs> good morning, America is going on. They're racist. <laughs> Everyone's racist. <laughs> Jesus. Like, I all I can imagine is, like, uh, someone, like, like, 
doing like the okay side and like like with a wide smile winking at you like like it's like oh you know what i mean and it's like what you- yeah <laughs> okay i was i was right dude <laughs> that's all i can imagine the okay hand gesture oh, it was- um hold on that was not that paragraph i should have read in 2017 the okay hand gesture acquired a new and different significance thanks to a hoax by members of the website 4chan let's go <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Popping off. Oh, man. So this is an old hoax then that yeah. just recently like came about. was like, oh, man, big news. It's like, no, nah, this is like five years old at this point. That's crazy. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and then white supremacists were like, oh, yeah, that is, you're right. And then they started doing it. And it's really Oh, funny. my God. Oh, but by oh, 2019, man. they stopped That's doing the it, though. So because they realized it was a joke. <laughs> so why am I only recently hearing about this? So for, like, real old news. Like, well, because it's been popping up a lot lately. For I no been reason. I talking to you about racism, that's why. <laughs> Babe, it's time, for your, it's time for your daily racism talk. Jesus. Have you seen those, <laughs> have you seen those memes where it's like, Babe, it's time for, it's your pegging time or something. I have not. That's amazing. <laughs> what? And the and they're like the. Oh, are those, is that is this the right word for um what I'm describing? So a wojack is that the white face that's like crying or it's like expressing an emotion or something? Is that a wojack? What's a wojack? I'm not old. I don't know what a wojack is. Look it up so you can inform yeah, us. Yeah, I'm right. I'm Actually, right. I'm, dude, I'm two for two, bro. I'm popping off. Bro, two for two, bro. So yeah, it's like a wojack Dude. of a girl and a guy, and the girl's like, "Babe, it's time for your pegging session," <laughs> and he's like, "Okay, babe." <laughs> That's yeah, so funny. It's really funny. Um, we got here from bull cuts, which is pretty awesome. I'm just gonna say. Yes, I I, I love the direction our podcast takes. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so uh, the bull cut is a guy named Dylan Roof who attacked a church in Charleston, in South Carolina, and apparently he had a he had a bull cut. I think is what it is, and then people saw that and started doing it. Like I don't know if this is rude. I mean, it it absolutely. It probably is. If you started with it's not rude, (laughs) it probably is. (laughs) Okay, like. I don't know why someone would think a bowl cut or bowl cut or whatever it's called. I don't know why anyone would think that's a good look. I can't understand that. Again, dude, white people don't have style. Like, who Sorry. thought, ah, oh, yes, this, this straight cut around the head is going to look good. It's like, huh? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Yeah, like, that's awesome. It's a cheap haircut because, you know, it originates because you could just put a bowl on your head and cut around. Like, <laughs> like why would you think that looks good? It's cheap. Dude. That's it. It's easy. Not, not a, like, <laughs> oh my God. I don't understand. I'll never, if I ever have a kid, I will never give them that kind of haircut. I would, wow, I would much sooner give them that, like, a, the vacuum haircut, like the Furby <laughs> haircut or whatever, than a bowl haircut. All right. Yeah, give him that haircut from um, the guy from, oh, not Lieutenant Surge. He doesn't have the the haircut where, like, Ooh, all the hair like is going it. straight up. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah, you got to give your kid that. That's sick. Yeah. That'll look epic. <laughs> um, so did you know that... Um, Joe Biden was the first president to ever igno- to, like acknowledge the bisexual community. Is he really? Yeah, he. Because I was listening to a podcast and they were like, and, and just an off comment was like, "Yeah, he told me that Joe Biden came out as bisexual." I was like, "Huh? Wait, <laughs> what?" So I was like, "Huh? Joe Biden is bisexual?" <laughs> But if no, true, he's just, he was, he was, pro, he was like supporting LGBTQ plus people. Oh, okay. And they, they were joking, like he came out as bisexual. <laughs> he, <laughs> and I was like, oh, That's, yeah. 
Oh. Goodness. I would love if this, like, how old is Joe Biden? Like, 70? I don't know. Too old. I'm just throwing out a number. Um, just imagine this, like, really old man comes up, right? <laughs> Yo, he's <laughs> 79. Dude, the 79 year old the old man old... comes out with, like, a broken, huh? Nancy Pelosi's 81 years old? Oh my, get her out of there. Why is she still in the House of Representatives? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, she's gonna die. <laughs> Put her in retirement, Jesus. We're only allowed to have old people in the in the in the in the government. Yeah. Only old you, people. You know what I thought about last night? I was watching what? um some people do the presidential fitness test. And I was like, Yeah. You know what we need to do for government? Instead of having an election, they need to challenge each other <laughs> and see who can do the um presidential yeah. fitness test better. I love that. And then they can be president. <laughs> The biggest, buffest people. Exactly. Be, yes. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But what about the men versus women? Because the like women have a different presidential test than men do. Well, we have a female president and a male president. Oh, of course. So instead the, the, of having rule, instead of yeah. having a vice president, they just have a female president, or vice versa. Yeah, of course. Dude, it'll just be another way to like checks and balances. Oh, yep. Exactly. 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 It'll be great. Did you, yeah, yeah and mm-hmm. the, the the presidential fitness at the age of seventeen, boys are supposed to be able to do fifty three push ups. That's like the the minimum could, like, is a seventeen year old doing huh. fifty three push ups. I could do one maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I can do like I can do ten and then I'm done. <laughs> yeah. What is the time frame for this? Is it like in a minute? It's like a minute. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I could never. I, yeah. I think so. Be- I had to do like lifetime fitness. Well, I didn't have to. I just needed an extra credit because so I chose something easy. Um, so we, you know, we were doing presidential fitness tests like once every month, and I was like, God, why? <laughs> um, I maxed out at like twenty three, <laughs> and that was my maximum push ups in a minute. And I was like, Oh my God, yeah, you want me to do fifty of these? There's no way you can do fifty. And even if you like, do, like, a full oh push-up, like, if you did a full push-up, that's, you just know what you're going to do 50 of those in a minute. You have to do, like, the half half down, yeah. Oh, yeah, like the, um, what's it called? The, the girly one? Or Sorry. Like <laughs> <laughs> the one where you put your knees on the ground like, like a girl? Sorry. Jesus. <laughs> All my girls out there, do your own push-ups. Don't let society tell called. you what push-ups like you should like do. It's like adjusted or assisted push-up or something like that. But yeah, oh man, I, I literally will never be able to beat those presidential things. I can do pull-ups really well, though. I will, I will say, I always match the presidential uh, assessment for pull-ups. So I you always got, you got, got the, the uh, upper, upper body strength? Oh no, definitely not. I'm just super light. <laughs> oh, that makes sense, actually, yeah. You know, I, I have no body weight, so I can, it's like, oh, this is easy, just Keep going. I have no body <laughs> weight. I weigh literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I am the weight of air. <laughs> God. I, I wonder if I was good at planking in middle school, but like somehow I lost my ability to plank for long periods of time. Mm, this, it's, it's crazy. Man, it sucks. Planking <laughs> is the I, I planking sucks, man. It's I hate so planking. hard. It hurts. It is literally it hurts so bad. Like I had the uh, I had the best score of like the entire eighth grade year. grade. Like remember Man. like the end of year like testing and stuff. But it was like all right guys, we're gonna do a little contest between all of the eighth grade classes. Let's see who wins or whatever. I had like the best. Like like I, I beat all of the football players in my class as well. Man. I was like oh uh-huh. dude this is sick. <laughs> um like I had done like. Well, I had, like, planked for, like, three or four minutes straight or something like that. Um, and, like, everyone was like, dude, how are you doing? Like, stop. I weigh nothing. Literally and, like, nothing. <laughs> so, you know, planking for, like, four minutes straight. And I was like, oh, God, pain. I literally didn't move the rest of the day. I was like, I'm done. I'm not I'm not <laughs> participating anymore. <laughs> you had the wheel in your wheelchair. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I laid down in every class that I could, and then, like, when I had to move, I had a friend help me, <laughs> because I was like, this is pain. 
Yeah, that sounds oh, like your geez. fault, honestly. You know, it is my fault. I should have like, I should have stopped way earlier. <laughs> should have stopped when the rest of the kids like fell. I was just like, hey, you know what? I want to be the best in the school. Not sure if I will be, but I'll do it. So you know. After everyone in my class, like, stopped after, like, a minute and ten seconds, I just kept going. <laughs> it's like, all right, cool, I'm so cool now. I'm gonna get the best time ever. Yeah, like... no, no, everyone hates you, actually, because you did that. Yeah. Especially with, like, Oh, absolutely. The, um, not the mile, but the pacer test, where you run back and forth <laughs> thousands of times. Yeah. That one kid that goes too God. hard. And like going to up to the thousands, you're like, dude, stop! <laughs> we have we have uh, this other things over, we need to do. Like, it's like the class is over. And stuff yeah, like that. that guy's yeah. just sweating up a storm. <laughs> it's like, dude, you can <laughs> stop, dude. Goodness, oh. man, the bell's like, wrong. He's still going. Uh, the next class comes in. He's still <laughs> running. <laughs> It's like, we gotta restart the clock, but you can, like, keep counting if you want. <laughs> you sound so depressed whenever you talk to them. <laughs> well, I was only depressed because I You're was... You're busy. We're busy, yeah. But they were they're yeah. leaving for the weekend, yep. so I'm home alone. <laughs> oh, ooh, home alone. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna invite all the girls. We're gonna have so much sex. It's gonna be awesome. She's gonna come over, dude. It's gonna be lit. We're gonna smoke Bro. weed. We're gonna... <laughs> Shoot up some heroin. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Dude, this, 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 is, this is gonna be a riot. This sounds like fun. Dude. Yeah. So what were we saying before I was interrupted? Um, we we're talking about the presidential tests and stuff. Oh yeah, pace for um, God, but whenever I did the plank, my entire body shakes, like trembles, super hard. Yeah, like mine, yeah, I think oh everyone does because mine, yeah, it's, it's, it it seems like everyone oh. does because it like. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, I, I like... It's, like, intense vibration. If you've ever yeah. seen... If you ever see me play Twister, like... Oh. It's, like... Oh, my God. Like, if anyone is, like, near my knee or something, they're gonna get kneed in the face. Like, <laughs> be, like it... There is a lot of, like, vi Like, ah, it's crazy. <laughs> this is why I don't exercise. Because my body just has crazy reactions. To being tired, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, Twister is heck of fun, though. I love, I love beating people in Twister. You just have to flirt with everyone, so you win. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you win in Twister. Nice, it's good strategy. <laughs> it is. Just be like, oh hey there, what you doing? Getting awfully close there, huh? I. <laughs> and they all give up. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I win. <laughs> I had a, I had a good strategy for. Well, it wasn't a good strategy because I never wrestled, but I had an idea if I were to ever wrestle, or someone, well, not me per se, but if like this would be what I'd want to see when someone wrestles. This is a long time ago when I thought this was funny, so it may not be funny anymore. Um, but I always imagined like when they're wrestling, they just like immediately grab the balls, um, and then just twist, <laughs> and the guy just falls, you know, just immediately. Falls. I think they kind of do that already. <laughs> well, you're not allowed to touch the balls, but you're, yeah. And then if it's a woman, you just, like, you don't fight them because they're a woman, you know? <laughs> you, just, you just go limp. Well, I had, a, I had a way to fight a woman, too, but I don't want to say it because it was really gross. <laughs> oh, and no. at this point in my life, I'm like, that's not funny. That's just kind of gross, so. Yeah. <laughs> that's we'll just, fair. We'll just move Some on. jokes don't age very well. Yeah. <laughs> But, Trust me, I know. Dude, like, every time I've ever seen wrestling, it, I, like, maybe this is, like, hypocritical coming from me, but, like, that is, like, the gayest sport <laughs> I have ever seen. 100%. <laughs> I think everyone agrees with you, even 100%. wrestlers. Like, there's so much, like, butt grabbing and, like, like ball yeah. grabbing and all kinds of things. Like, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Like, it's supposed to be illegal to grab that area, but, like, I see it constantly yeah and i'm like oh my goodness well the ref's into it so he doesn't want to stop it you know <laughs> and like some people get a little too excited in wrestling i'm like like what is happening <laughs> they got a boner <laughs> <laughs> literally like, half, of the, half of the wrestling matches i've seen like at one or otherwise it 
ends in that. I'm like, why? What, what is this for? I'm sure you go to a lot of wrestling. What is this? Man, dude. I'm sure you go to a lot of wrestling. Um, <laughs> and I mean a lot of wrestling, I, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Like, I actively don't go to wrestling matches or, like, try not to watch wrestling matches. It's so... Disc memories, and it's like, oh god, what is this? <laughs> I feel dirty watching wrestling. It's like, oh yeah, no, I can't. I, I would, feel like that. I'm about, gonna just go watch. Um, um, I, f- I feel like that about football, because like after every play, they're always slapping each other on the butt. I'm like, you know, <laughs> that's not necessarily gay, but it's just like, like, why? Just pat him on the back. <laughs> they do that in baseball too. Yeah, they do it in every sport. Well, honestly, they always the <laughs> butt smack. Like, why? And you then, don't want a nice uh, slap on the butt, you know. It's like, I feel like those are also the guys who are, like, super, like, um, like, they super don't great. joke about being gay. They're always, like, if you make fun, call me gay, like, jokingly or not, I'm going to kick you, you know, beat you up. Yeah. And then they go in their <laughs> sports and they slap each other and shower together. And it's like, okay, guys. <laughs> yep. Dude. Okay, so guys. The super, the straightest people do the gayest things. Like it's yeah. like hands down. It's like I, I would never do that in my life. I would you, never go up and slap another guy's ass. I you know how I that. you know how I talk when I'm when it's just you and me and it's like late at night. Mm-hmm. You know how I just like I don't have any filter anymore and I just say the stuff I want to yeah. like saying. Uh huh. Like that one time I said oh, I'd man. pump you off. I don't remember why I said that. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just go. I pop off, bro. Oh, I, I have my you filter off, just yeah. shuts down after midnight. I think. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> after midnight, who needs? Yeah, but it's like because I know I'm not <laughs> gay, so it's not, and I know you know I'm not gay, so yeah. I know there's gonna be nothing yeah. missing in translation when I say it. So I'm like, why not? I'm gonna pump you. I'm. <laughs> 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 so why not? <laughs> Uh, Everyone needs to be a little gay. Yeah. We're gonna be sad. Exactly. And that comes exactly. from me. Very sad guy. So, you know. There's a reason gay means happy. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Everyone needs a little gay now. We should move on from gay. Um, uh, yeah. But, so, last week I talked about my book at the end. Um... Mm-hmm. And I realized, so I went to the bathroom, like, right after, um, because I had to pee the whole time, um, and I was washing my hands, I looked up to the mirror, and my entire, like, my cheeks under my eyes are just completely red and hot, and I realized I was flustered, oh, we <laughs> apparently, flustered. yeah, and I realized Aww. that this happens a lot, because... As early as I can remember, oh, probably earlier, but I remember it happening in speech class when I was doing a speech Mm -hmm. on um, why schools kill creativity or something. And it was something that I was, like, really passionate about because I was, I believe that. Um, Yeah. And I could find things that back that up. But, like, as soon as, and I I was so nervous because, like, my teacher is, my teacher was, like, super a super feminist and hated dudes. Um, I think I talked <laughs> about her. Um, yeah. And she was like, and also super into school too. So I'm like double whammy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I go up there and I'm just like stuttering. I cannot talk straight. I'm like, yeah, Aww. it was awful. It was like, and then she was, and one of my points was like, schools are made for factories. Like, so kids could learn how to work in a factory. Which I read somewhere. That mm-hmm. wasn't like I just made that up. I, fa- I saw that somewhere. Um, but then she gave me like the re- report back or whatever. It was like, schools aren't made for factories. Like, whatever. <laughs> whatever, dude. I I don't care. And then I did like <laughs> one about Batman and I like blazed through it because I was like not nervous about it. But for some reason, yeah. it's like... And then when I talked about Pokemon, it was, like, trying to talk about, like, the whole situation. Right at the beginning, I, like, shut uh-huh. down. It was like, I don't know what I'm talking about. And I I had a whole <laughs> list of things I knew what I was talking about. But in my head, I was like, I, I, was like, I don't want to talk about it or something because I don't want 
something people, like people to get angry at me for just trying to get clout off the situation or something, you know? Oh, mm-hmm. But I think it's just uh, when when you're talking about something that's somewhat personal. Yeah. Because it's like honest window into you as a person. Yeah. And that's that's hard to talk about. Yeah. And that's why I, I ramble. think that's why it was so easy to talk about Batman. And that's why oh, I, I ramble that. a lot <laughs> when I was talking about Jacob the anime because like I remember just like saying the same thing over and over again, but I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just ramble. I get you. It's, I do the same thing constantly. Yeah. I ramble to distract people from what I'm really trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. It's like yeah. they must not know what I, that I'm trying to reveal my innermost uh, thoughts. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to distract with random stuff. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm right there with you, bud. So, you remember uh, Poppy Playtime? I, I, yeah. I know Mark will play yeah, it, it, and some other people played it. It's kind of what the new... Is it, like, coming um, back? Is it what? Isn't it, like, having, like, a super big comeback lately? Uh, well, maybe. I'll get... I'll, hold on. Um. Okay. Um, well, it's, like, <laughs> there's apparently, like, supposed to be, like, a second part coming out or something. It doesn't matter. Um, but it's, like, this new gotcha. child horror game coming up in, like, the shadow of FNAF, basically. I don't want to say the shadow because it Pretty actually much. is kind of cool, but it's like you know, clearly based or clearly like a child-friendly horror game. Um, yeah. Anyways, like my cousin Jessica told me about it, and she's like, she's like twelve or thirteen right now, and she got super into it lately. <laughs> I mean, that game does have some good like. I think okay, so my opinion on horror is I don't like jump scares because they always get me. Um, because I'm just <laughs> uh-huh. like. I get, you know, I'm not good with horror. I scream a lot. Um, I'll just say that mm-hmm. straight out. But, like, I just hate jumps because they're so easy. Like, yeah, you jump scared me. I'm not really scared, though. You just startled me. <laughs> but um, yeah. with games like Resident Evil 7, um, that game is really atmospheric. And it scares me because... <laughs> I don't know if the lady with the lantern is going to be right behind this door, or there's going to be a giant bug that's going to come try and sting me, or if there's going to be a giant moldy guy. I don't know if I have enough bullets to kill the moldy guy. And so that all those <laughs> things are what scares me, not the fact that there's a robot behind it that's going to jump at me with his big sharp teeth and his little yeah. white eyeballs, you know? But that's not important, mm-hmm. really. <laughs> um, what I'm trying to say is that Poppy Playtime gotten really big heat from the community because they were trying to do nfts to like um to like like help with uh funding i think is what it was um Uh don't quote on that part but they did make nfts that is truthful um and everyone was like what are you doing we hate those stop um (laughs) and then um tony (laughs) hawk came out with nfts um, famous skateboarder oh, that no one talks it, about like, anymore oh. came out with NFTs. Yeah, wasn't he like making any F- it was it NFT videos of tricks that tired? Yeah, never do again? there are NFTs of him doing tricks. I'm I yeah, think, that's on. boring. <laughs> News. <laughs> I don't know why. Com. Like, Hold on. Yeah, uh, there are NFTs like, of like, NFTs of like pictures of his signature moves in career. Which is just like See, that's worthless though because you can just get that. <laughs> I don't like NFTs. Like they just don't make sense. It's like I don't care about owning the rights to an image. As long as I have the actual image, I'm fine. I don't need the yeah. right to it. I just like, don't get NFTs at all. I mean, I understand cryptocurrency. In a way, like, I understand being, um, using a like, currency that's, like, anonymous on the web or the one that's not controlled by the government or whatever. But at this point, mm-hmm. like, cryptocurrencies are so controlled by, like, giant millionaires, basically. Especially <laughs> NFTs. Like, Bored Apes are, like, a floor of maybe uh, 20 <laughs> Ethereum or something. Hold on. I have OpenSea um, 
kind of bookmarked because I always also, I always go surfing for NFT or board apes. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, but I heard that like I'm not sure how, like I can't remember the exact statistic, but I like the majority of. Oh, I you... undershot. Sorry. Continue though. Um, but like Bitcoin, like most of Bitcoin is owned as like a select individuals like it, it there's only a few people that own like over half of all bitcoin yeah um it's a so it's like if they sold off all their shares bitcoin would be worthless <laughs> like yeah. they would make so much money but, you know and like uh well yeah it would crazy. just tank like all the scam coins that are just that are most likely those scam coins are probably like when you go to like Kroger and you buy either Kraft mac and cheese or the name or like the not branded mac and cheese, that's the same company. Mm -hmm. That's just the unbranded as a subsidiary of Kraft that they're just making it cheaper and then selling it to you, and so you feel like you're buying something different, but you're actually buying Kraft still. So I think oh, wow. I think that's what these hilarious. people are doing is they are making different crypto projects, surging them up with like. Um, celebrities and random people on the internet being like, I invested all my Ethereum into butt booby coin or whatever. Butt booby moon coin. <laughs> um, please also get in this. We can go to the moon together with butt booby moon coin. Only it's worth 0. 0.000001 cents on the stock market. Let's pump it up to 0. 0.00010 or something. <laughs> um, and it's like, yeah. and then it just drops, and that guy makes like a hundred thousand dollars or something, and then, yeah. Yep. Like, but, wasn't that how Dogecoin ended up? Was uh, like, it was you know, it was like the meme Bitcoin, and, and Doge, I to it, and um, then it just fell. Dogecoin is did not fall. Dogecoin is still there. I'm pretty sure. Dogecoin was oh, made really? as a oh, joke. Dude. Dogecoin is a joke cryptocurrency that like blew up because Elon Musk was tweeting about it. So like, I actually, the... you know, I kind of want a Dogecoin. I'm not sure how well, much they cost though. They're not real though, coins, so... Nick. <laughs> it's a... I know. Okay. But I just, I want to say I have Dogecoin. <laughs> you have I be able Doge? To, I want to have bragging rights. Oh. You know, why? Want, See, you know, you're I... why this, <laughs> this is a problem, like, Nick. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> This is my fault because I'm that kind of person that's like, guys, I have some. By the way, I, s <laughs> I said that Board Ape Yacht Club had a floor price of 11 or 15 or whatever. Yeah, it's 94 Ethereum, mm -hmm. which is like <laughs> stupid money. That has to be over a million dollars in real money. Um, oh, no. Which is like, it's, it's absurd. Because the only people that can buy this stuff is like rich stupid rich people like jimmy fallon and yeah. paris hilton when they showed off their bored apes on the tonight show which is mm -hmm. God. also ethereum dropped three like, points today in the stock market um i'm losing thousands of millions of dollars oh, right now yeah. <laughs> oh it's not so it's worth, let's see two hundred sixty three thousand dollars holy so I was how off, much is it worth did you say um, one ninety-four Ethereum is worth two hundred and sixty-three thousand dollars and change. Gotcha. Yeah. See, I'm on a website right now. It's telling me what one of each is. One Ethereum is twenty-eight hundred or so. Mm -hmm. Uh, one Bitcoin is forty thousand. <laughs> is it? One, thing is, I've people... never heard of this one. Sorry, continue. Like Cardano. Uh, you you go ahead. I'm just like looking at cryptocurrency. Oh, okay. I'm just looking at what I'm going to invest in and then pump it up on my tracks. <laughs> um, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what yeah. you're going to do while I'm gone. You're going to use the Tagam channel to pump and dump crypto. <laughs> yeah. Nick's going to come on here. Hey, It'll guys, I hopped on Booby Coin today. Make sure you guys jump <laughs> on that. We're going to the moon. And then you come on a week uh, later after dumping that one. All right, guys, I may have been wrong last time, but this time for <laughs> sure... <laughs> also, I found out one Dogecoin is worth. <laughs> How much is it worth? Fourteen cents. Oh, yeah, it's. 
dude. I could buy a Dogecoin. I mean, you can. It'll probably grow. Dude. Yeah, honestly, it's not a bad investment. Crypto, like, if you know it's a stable cryptocurrency and you actually think it's going to rise and there's, like, a good team behind it, it's not horrible. Like I said before, it's a good idea in theory, but right now it's all scams and a rich guy club, yeah. basically. And it's, like, yeah. not cool. And, like, they think it's cool, but it's like, not. If you weren't in from the early days, then you're not going to make anything Exactly, off. yeah. If you weren't mining, it's, like, now at this point, you have to either buy a oh. risky a risky coin that just came in, or you have to buy Dogecoin in your case, <laughs> or you have to, like, <laughs> yeah. just blow your life savings into Bitcoin or Ethereum and then lose it all if it tanks mm. like it is today, you know? Yeah. Like... And I also found out that Bitcoin, there's only so much. I didn't realize that. What it's about? a finite amount. Oh, yeah. Bitcoin, there's, there's only so well, much. I didn't know that. That's that's why they have those giant um, Chinese mining. Have you heard of those? The giant, like, people that rent out warehouses or buy yep. warehouses in China and then just fill them with computers and they just mine all day. Yeah. And then as soon as a new graphics God, card yeah. comes out, they just sell all their equipment and buy new stuff because it's, like, cheaper to do that. <laughs> yep. And then they just keep going. God. Sanity. Like, so Bitcoin probably wasn't bad on the environment initially, but now it absolutely is. Yeah. God. And, like, yeah, Bic this whole Ethereum, not Ethereum, this whole, like, crypto stuff is pretty, is bad for the environment because it's, like, make mm -hmm. the amount of energy you need to pump this stuff out is yeah. obscene like, but like there's nothing inherently bad about cryptocurrency it's a good idea except well, <laughs> we don't have a good way of creating power we don't have yeah. an efficient way of creating all the power this requires yeah. if we did this would be no issue <laughs> but most of the world still burns oils and coals and other things to produce power and yeah. it's like god this is terrible if we were all green it would be completely fine Oh, yeah, but geez. we can't do that because call back the old people. I'm, I'm sorry. I won't get into that again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. She Joe Biden, about... wake up. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sleepy Joe God, sleeping in the Oval. Man. Um, I, don't have a, I don't have a problem with Joe Biden, really. Not yet. I mean, I also um, don't pay attention to politics, so, so take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> Joe Biden, so far, as far as I can tell, he hasn't done. He hasn't messed done anything. up in any way. Yeah. Uh, Joe Biden. He, he's been very, very medium so far. He's probably like, been asleep the whole time. To... <laughs> <laughs> he's been. You know, he goes been... to sleep for like 14, 15 hours, wakes up, he's like, all right, time <laughs> to like support the gay. All time right, to, sleep yeah. time. <laughs> time to sign a piece of paper that this guy handed me. All right, going back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yep. One. That's his goal. One paper a day. Then. <laughs> Joe oh, Biden. <Wyden. laughs> wake up. Yeah. Sleepy Joe. I wonder oh, what man. it's like to be president. Like, what do they actually do? <laughs> like, Sign papers. Do they actually read over? Do Do they actually read the papers though? Do they? I think they have someone else. Like, I wonder. To them. Probably. Like that's what their cabinets. They're for. just so busy. Yeah, they're, they're so busy signing papers. They don't have time to read. Yeah, <laughs> they have too many to sign. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what I was saying when I was talking about um Donald Trump and like people thought he was gonna kick out all of the Af or the African Americans. And I was like, he just can't mm -hmm. do that. Uh, I think Congress and the House of Representatives do more than uh the president, but. Then again, yeah, I know not very much of politics, but they, like, sign all the... They write all the laws. They push them through. They do this and that. And the president is just like, actually, I want this to happen now. Um, sign that Congress, yeah. and it takes five years for it to go through. And then it doesn't actually yeah. work how like, it's supposed to because it's been watered down by endless talk between two stupid factions that actually don't do anything helpful for either side, but they act like they are helpful for yep. both sides, but they're not. So, and then it just yeah. ends up with <laughs> stimulus checks that are worth $20 instead of the promised whatever they were. 
Yeah. So. God. Uh, I'm like. God, I love America. No. God right. bless America. <laughs> Let. <laughs> okay, sorry. <clears throat> like, I remember when I was a kid, I really thought America was, like, the coolest country. Because yeah. I well, place in the world. Man. I thought we were like accepting of all kinds of different ideas. Man, like dude. I thought we were like everything. Dude. But <laughs> then I grew every up. day, bro. We came in. We said the pledge of allegiance, bro. We learned the alphabet, dog. No one else learns the alphabet, man. America only, baby. And then we said the pledge of allegiance <laughs> again, bro. Then we prayed at lunch because we're <laughs> Americans. God bless it. So sorry. <laughs> this probably should have been a sign that I was lazy as a kid. I never learned the Pledge of Allegiance. After, like, the fourth oh. time they told me to say it, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to learn this. I was so bored <laughs> of it. I just was like, huh, da 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 Like, I, I would just, like, mumble it, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I stopped, never learned it because I I stopped saying it, it at, after senior year. I was like, I'm done saying the Pledge of Allegiance every day. Oh. I stopped saying it after d- day five of kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you lasted longer than I did. Well, then again, I was also oh, like, I did grow up being more like, I love my country. God bless America. And now I'm kind of in this one. So I'm yeah. like, yeah, this country kind of sucks. It's kind of, kind of mid. I mean, come on. I have to pay thousands of dollars like for an like, ambulance yeah. ride. <laughs> right. Like when I was a kid, I was like, dude, love our country. We got one of the coolest countries ever. Then, like, you know, reached, like, middle school. It's like, okay, our country is just, just okay. The, you know, we, we got, we, we're not the best. Then um, I heard of Japan, man, and, like, and oh, I was yeah, like, bro. <laughs> Dude, yes. Just go to Japan. Like, the crime rate is so incredibly low. Like, yeah. they're, you know, Dude, they're, we, they are the future. <laughs> we'd get side-eyed so hard if go we went to, to Japan, though. Just two white guys. Arigato! <laughs> 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 yeah oh my god we'd just be total walk, weebs just like acting like we're trying to act like civilians just walking up to random people arigato <laughs> <laughs> just not knowing what we're saying yes. oh, hola I think we would we would probably be able to get by because I think it's mandatory for them to learn English over there pretty sure um, not everyone's good at English but yeah uh, well, it's like I mean, one of their mandatory classes. Yeah. It, but we don't live there. But so, I th- I think that's true. Yeah. But again, yeah. As long as <laughs> we can pick up words here and there. I think I... <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Uh, that's... We would just be those stupid Americans. Yeah. I'm s- <laughs> just... It'd be great. It'd be, it'd be so good. Just the idea of two white guys walking around like <laughs> Tokyo or something like, Arigato! <laughs> <laughs> like they think it's a greeting, oh, or so, and they're just like, arigato, yes. and they're bowing to <laughs> us. Like, what are you doing? Stop! Like, I'm imagining us like with like the like the with, like little like you know just like wearing it with like a headband and stuff. Like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> super arigato! Just, just Oh god, we gotta be like the super touristy Americans <laughs> saying arigato. Just walking up, like walk up to a yes. little store. Arigato, can I have a rice cake, please? <laughs> <laughs> they hand it to you, and you're, you Goodness. don't you don't say arigato. You say um wait, how do you say hello? Oh, moshi moshi. <laughs> I do accept it. <laughs> and just have it backwards. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Arigato. Oh, I would love to be a stupid American in another country. <laughs> Being a stupid American in another country sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, we'd get, re- we'd get beat up so fast, though. You know some Japanese teenagers oh, would absolutely. just kick us, bro. They'd kick us into a well, bro. <laughs> if there are wells in Japan. <laughs> oh, God, are there really? I, I don't you know. know. I don't, not I, be. They have I don't think I've trains. ever seen an actual well. I've never seen a well in real life. I haven't either. I just... I just thought about, like, the trope of getting stuck in a well. <laughs> like, someone we're, walks... We're gonna be the two. We yeah. hear someone walk by the well, we're just yelling up, Arigato! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Just, they they so think about setting us down the rope, and then we say, and they're like, no. <laughs> yeah, and then we get up there, moshi moshi, and they just drop it. And like, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Arigato! 
Yeah. Dude, we'll haunt the well. We'll we'll have our own folk <laughs> legend. Oh like, my god, know, our own scary tale. The two white boys <laughs> yeah. that live at the bottom of the well. <laughs> yeah. Beware of the well. Sometimes you can still hear them at night whispering, Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> they creep out of the well at night and steal the children when they're being naughty. Yeah. <laughs> say, yeah. Arigato. Uh, Can you say funny. Arigato? Arigato. More like, I already got you. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez, that's so bad, but I love it. Oh. Uh, back into America and how great it is. This is fun. I was, my mom, we were watching the soup. I wasn't watching it. My dad was watching the Super Bowl because he's an American man and you have to watch Super Bowl or you'll get oh, excommunicated sure. out of the country. Um, I, I was working, I promise. I, I, I couldn't watch it anyway. <laughs> the secret, this NFL <laughs> secret police kicking the Little Caesars door. <laughs> Where were you? Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, but I was asking my mom, because they sang, like, before the game started, they sang God Bless America, and they sang, like, mm -hmm. um, the National Anth Anthem, of course. Um Yes. And they sang a different American song. I don't remember what it was. And then they had the planes fly over the stadium. And I'm like, is that necessary anymore? Like, like I don't, you know, like, do, also, do we really need to say the Pledge of Allegiance every day at school? Like, do we need our kids to be, like, super it feels patriotic? Feel like brainwashing low-key. Yeah, I mean, it, it is, like, kind of. Like, love yeah, your country, like, love your country. Yeah. Like, every day you're telling these small children, pledge your allegiance to your country. Yeah. It's like, what? Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's in <Why>? the name. <laughs> like, yeah. pledge your I, allegiance and your, your eternal soul. It's like, oh I God, think it, it's like, creepy. It's creepy. I think it comes back to the Revolutionary War where we're like, we are a country! Ah, I pledge my allegiance to this country! I will never die. Yeah. Wait, I'll, I will die, but not not. I will die, but like I will die not in the name of I my country. I will die for my country, not for yours. Screw you, taxing our tea, taxing yeah. other stuff, and then shooting that one drunkard outside of a bar in Boston that one time. That started the war, <laughs> you know. But and then yeah. it just kind of like kept going, sure. and then through like World War One, I, I think is when people like changed it, because World War One was a very uh -huh. like it was still. Like, it started out a normal war of, we walk towards each other, then stand in uh, formation, fire, and they're, like, standing in their little rows, and they're shooting over each other, or whatever. <laughs> and then they're like, you know, we could just dig down, and then put a gun here, and then just lay waste to everything we see. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, God. and then, like, a few years into the war, the people are like, yeah, I don't think I like my crunch country anymore i i don't want to be here it's like they're telling yeah. me like fight for your country die for your country you know like i've got trench foot dog i got mustard gas in my nose man i I've, <laughs> I've been shot yeah. I, I don't have a leg anymore i don't care about my country anymore man i just want to go home <laughs> so yeah oh, and if you were like you know maybe this nationalism stuff isn't good because then we end up into situations like this where people are just wasting their life to you know save their country that's already you know <laughs> yeah. yeah but america like, did not get the memo because they won two world wars in a row baby let's go undefeated <laughs> don't remember vietnam undefeated. everything else undefeated don't remember don't think about vietnam <laughs> don't think about saigon vietnam yeah saigon low-key sounds like an alien planet <laughs> like well it doesn't exist like, anymore so it might know. as well be an alien planet oof yeah, it's God. Ho Chi Minh City, um, which, fun fact, Ho Chi Minh is the leader of the North Vietnamese, which is now all Vietnam because we lost. Take that, <laughs> American lovers. We lost the Vietnam War. It wasn't a tactical retreat. We lost. Accept it. <laughs> <laughs> Accept it. Um, did you ever have to, like, in your history class, like, do this, like, little... They were supposed to be, like, for fun or whatever, but it was, like, this was this is what it would be like if you were in this war or whatever. And like you'd have to like like you'd be posed with like a situation and you would have to make a choice or whatever. Um, Wait, what? Well, like I a choose your own adventure died. game. 
kind of based on our different wars and like the messed up stuff of our history. <laughs> I, I don't like, think I ever did that. Like, um, so I think it was just because I, I had a really cool history teacher. She was the best. <laughs> it sounds um, cool. You got shot. Yeah. Sounds... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got tarred and feathered for being. Let's a go. <laughs> oh no, because I was a. Uh, it was like. Uh, because I was part German, I got tarred and feathered, and I died. <laughs> I was like, oh. Let's go, baby. <laughs> and then, um, in, uh, like, the one where we did for, like, World War II or whatever, I, you know, it was like, what what, what do I choose in this, the trench war? Like, what item do I choose? It's like, oh, I'll choose the gas masks. And it's like, your gas masks don't work properly. You die of mustard gas. <laughs> and it's like, oh, no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I chose wrong. <laughs> You know, it was like, choose your weapon. I was like, all right, I choose the gas and the gas mask. It's like, nope, you killed yourself. <laughs> it's like, oh, nice. crap. Yeah. Well, that's the really funny part, dude. Like, if you shot gas and it was windy, you just killed your entire, bar- you killed your entire, like, trench yeah. of people. Like, like it, because apparently their gas masks just didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Like, and also the gas matter. would just blow back towards you if it was windy, which is so yeah. funny. It's not, because, like, mm. so many people die, but it's so funny. God, it, like it's so messed up. This is wild. Yeah. Ugh, man. War is so bad. But speaking of war, bro, it really is. Dude, do you think Russia's gonna invade Ukraine? I don't think they are. I think they're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get shot, bro. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> There's someone Russia's outside. There's right a Russian now. Vladimir spy Putin. outside. Vladimir Putin right now is listening. Yeah. And he, kn- he he now knows. Dude, did you ever see the video of a bird saluting Vladimir Putin? I have seen that. It, I that is hilarious to me. It is I really love funny. that video. <laughs> like, the birds. He knows the birds. Oh god. Yeah. Dude, maybe birds are spies. If they salute him, they must be his spy. He's trained them. So, um oh, man. <laughs> but honestly, I don't I really don't think well, they may. Well, I don't think they are. No, because they've been, like, lined up at the border for, like, ten years, dude. It's like, it's the same thing with North Korea. I'm really marking yeah, my mark back. They were like, we're shooting missiles all over the place. We're gonna blow you up. <laughs> it's like, yep. you've done this, like, five oh times, dude. Calm down. <laughs> so, I don't know if you know this, but apparently, unlike the border, I believe what? South Korea... Yeah. Uh, they put all of their they put all of their tallest soldiers um, on the border so that North Korea thinks that they're like the superior race or something. <laughs> nice. Like, like so that they think all of them, literally like because they want all of the uh, the other side to think their Koreans are all super tall, crazy soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> like so, they, like literally, I was like, what? Like, that's hilarious to me. It's like, put all of our tall people over there so that they think we're, like, super people. <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's so funny. You know what's <laughs> funny about the Korean War? Um, what's funny? So we technically War. didn't win that one either. We didn't lose because it, like, ended where... It literally ended where it started. So... Did it really? <laughs> um, the North Koreans invaded South Korea, and the Americans were like, We hate communism! Go, 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 go! And so they were like, you know. And so they of fought course. the North Koreans. They pushed the North Koreans all the way back to the Chinese border. And the Chinese were like, you guys are too close. So then the Chinese came in, and then they pushed us all the way back to where we started. And then we were like, you know what? We're done fighting a war. So the war ended where it started. And that's prob- that's pretty true, I'm pretty sure. So at that point, I don't think we, like, there was no winning or losing. It's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Draw. Yeah. Screw this, we're out. And then in Vietnam, we just lost, because we... Yeah. Jeez, yeah. That was a... That was a whole... Thing. That was a doozy mm-hmm. of a war, man. Our country's <laughs> awful. Our, our country really is one of the worst. Yeah. Like, God. Also, it... So, I just reminded me of something. Um, So, you were talking about, like, us, like, being... Becoming into stuff um so my mom right love her to death but she's been getting into conspiracy theories oh no oh no oh no 
Get her off. Um, the, get her off Facebook. Get her off Facebook, dude. Get her uh, off the metaverse. She is she, off Facebook. She, is she, she in the she's metaverse? She's on Facebook. She's on. <laughs> she's on TikTok. <laughs> oh, oh, that's worse. And that's where all of. Yeah. She on so 4chan? now. Uh, <laughs> she's about to be. I swear. <laughs> She's like, um, Nick, I, did you know that we some... made the white power sign? <laughs> God. <laughs> um, she's been telling me how we have are actually still under British rule. And I'm like, Mom, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> there was a whole war about this. We have a whole Pledge of Allegiance to America. We talk crap about the British. We uh, Every single show we have makes fun of them. And the way they speak. I hate we the stopped writing in their same way. We, we got rid of letters that they yeah. had because we didn't like them so much. We are not under British rule. <laughs> like, She's like, Nick, you just don't understand. Uh, You're just brainwashed. <laughs> literally! Oh my god. Is that what she's been telling me this. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Every day. She's like, it's like, you just don't believe me because you've been brainwashed by all these video games and TV <laughs> and the uh, internet and I'm like no that's not how that uh oh <laughs> like uh, <laughs> that's not like, funny that's super she'll... funny yeah and it's like she will tell me she'll like say something ridiculous I'm like that's not true and she's like yes it is and I'm like okay <laughs> look it up and prove it to me and then she'll look it up and then read the headline she yeah, won't read the article. That's... She'll read the headlines. I'm like, see, look, we made the moon. It's like, no, no, no. We made the like, moon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, she read, it, something said that we had made the moon thing, and it, and it but what it had, the article had really said was, we had made a, an object that could create a similar gravity effect as the moon. <laughs> No, not the moon, not a moon, oh, no. an object that can replicate gravity, a gravity device, not, not, not oh, the moon. Oh, no. So the mix between my mother, my lovely mother, um, she, uh, you know, the mix between her only reading headlines and uh, uh, getting conspiracies off of TikTok, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> you gotta take that phone away if, if from you're, her. If, if, if you're hearing this, Mom, I love you. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, that's that's crazy. No offense, but I'm just yeah. like. <laughs> I mean, I understand though, because like headlines are super clickbaity. Like, top ten diets oh, to save your and, waist. You know, and it's like cucumber. Like, I get, <laughs> I get not having the time to read stuff. Like, I I get being like, oh, I don't have time to read this right now, and just reading the headline. Interesting. Yeah, but a- accepting just the headline as fact and telling it to other people as if it were fact, I yeah. can't. I could literally never. And then, if, if a like, headline interests me and I think it's crazy, I read it always. Yeah, and then if the headlines from like Sun is watching us dot com or something, it's like okay, guys, we we should yeah. we should pull the plug. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like whenever I I read something, I try to be like. Okay, this thing they're saying is like a little outlandish. Facts, opinions, and then I'll like any facts they do provide. I'm gonna be like, I'm double checking this, yeah. and then it all, all almost always ends up being like, oh, they're completely wrong, and this statistic was from like, like the the, the 40s or something. You know, it's like this is, yeah, yeah, like stuff like that. It's like I'm not gonna trust statistics from the 40s. You should. I'm you should, just not. You should ask your mom if she thinks the Vietnam War was lost. See, I don't know. I don't know uh, her opi- opinions on stuff like that because, like, she, most of her stuff has come from my grandmother, who's a very big Trump supporter, mind you. Um, whoop, whoop. I'm sorry. I'm and that's a joke, so by the way. That's it, there's <laughs> a lot of apparently there's a lot of. I kind of don't want to talk about this to, it, so I don't brainwash other people. But <laughs> um, don't worry, I'll make fun of you. Apparently, the whole time, there's a lot so. of <laughs> Oh, that's completely fine. Apparently, there's a bunch of conspiracies that Donald Trump st- is still our president, but he's working in secret, and he's <laughs> unreveal. He's revealing all of these pr- like child predators and stuff, and like he's gonna reveal the secrets of the is, government. Is that you know, like is that stuff like related to, like Pizzagate like, and stuff like the yeah the Democrats that work sure, yeah. under the pizza place to kidnap children, basically? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And it's like, 
I don't know how much, like, how true it is or not. But regardless, I don't think the 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 old president is behind revealing it if it's true. Like, I don't. I really don't think he's like got some like. Oh man, I'm the man with the plan. Like, yeah. <laughs> you no. Know. Honestly, uh, I'm like, I just like you watch a video like about conspiracies or something. Um, and, like, it'll, like, as you're watching it, you're like, that doesn't make sense, but at the same time makes, like, they're actually, like, kind of connecting everything. But then, yeah, if you look it yeah. up, you're like, okay, well, actually, that <laughs> never happened. And this like, came from the thesunwatchingus.com, which has more ads yeah. than, you know, a Google search, so. Yeah. Like, that's the problem with conspiracy theories, right? Like, they, their mo- main ba- because anyone can create any if you just connect dots in a different way. Like anyone can make some dumb theory. I mean, Matt Pat proves that. Like I love his yeah. theories, but some of them are really out there, and he makes them just for fun. Like he said it himself. And you can make a theory out of almost anything. Just yeah. connect the dots in a reasonable way, and it'll be like, oh baby. And it's like, well, there's all this other stuff. But it's contrary. <laughs> uh, I didn't mention that because you know, for obvious yeah. reasons, it doesn't make for a good theory. Um, so, you know, they'll connect all these dots and stuff, and it'll be interesting, and they're like, but don't believe the lies about the stuff that's contrary to it, because look at all the evidence. They're hiding stuff. And it's like, yeah. well, you know, yeah. your theory is based on everyone is lying to you. I'm the... It's like, okay, so now you just... So if you fall for a lot of these conspiracy theories, it's like, okay, well, now you can't trust anyone or anything. So anything that says anything contrary to this is instantly wrong, because they have to be liars. And that's like, ah. So, that's the big problem with a lot of That's a shocker. I've never Is heard it, the British yeah. are still running our country. Yeah, I was like, I honestly hate hearing these conspiracy theories text, because I'm like, oh my god. I get, I kind of get angry sometimes. Like, it it fills me with rage when some someone says some, like, wild, crazy theory with no evidence of any kind. Yeah. I'm like, what are you at? What, what are you talking about right now? Yeah, it's <laughs> a lot like the, um, this is the last thing. We're running really long. But this is, um, okay. another thing that really also makes me super angry that kind of goes along with conspiracies, but not really. is like those, um, super, like, alpha dudes that, like, are like, we are alpha. And, like, a woman is either low value or high value. And, like, you know, and then they go through, like, what a woman should be doing or something and, like, this and this and this. And then they go through their evidence of, like, women should be always working from home or working on the home, you know. And there was one where a guy was, like, women should only deal with the babies because that's all they're mentally capable for. Once it becomes a kid, the, the, the dad should take over. And I'm just, like, dude... And that one doesn't make sense. I just want to be clear. That never made sense to me. Um, yeah. But it was like, it's still like that thing that makes you really oh angry. You're like, why would you believe that? You know? But. Okay. Yeah. Hey, man, you know what? Have the dad take care of the baby because, you know, they, they carried it for nine months. Yeah. <laughs> you say had the dad take care of it like, because he carried it for nine months? No. Have the dad take care of it because the mom carried it for nine oh, months. Oh, okay. Give her a break. <laughs> I, you know, thought, I thought you were saying, how did the you dad do it? Kid. He was already carrying in his balls the whole time. He's got to, <laughs> you know. Well, that is also true, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so God. Funny. Yeah. Honestly, I, uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind being a house husband. Honestly. Same. Like, Honestly, especially same. if I'm doing, like, if, God forbid, the podcast freaking explodes and millions of people listen they're jamming out to our yelling voices i have two white guys who complain and sometimes talk about gaming and comedy you know and i'm like honey yep. you go work at the office i'm gonna stay home with little jacob you know and i'm gonna play with him and then i'm gonna get on the call with nick like nick let's talk about stuff and you're gonna be like let's go and then i'm gonna have little jacob let's as like a little go. cameo you know this is this is what we're gonna do. We're both gonna be house husbands, exactly. and like my wife will work somewhere, my husband will work somewhere, and we'll we're, just be doing our podcast. We're gonna change the title <laughs> to the House Husband Cast. That's gonna be our new name. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> I would actually love that. That would be amazing. 
All right, guys, stay tuned for a few months, a few years, where we're going to be the House Husband Podcast. Um, Yeah. All right, we should, we're at 120. We should stop talking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is this oh, is run very God, long. I it's forgot to one. say Sundays at one. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot to say it at the beginning. Oh no, whatever. I have. We we'll, should add we'll, it later. I, I think we'll right do now. one more. So, whatever. All right, guys, this has been the Tagam <laughs> Podcast, soon to be known as the House Husband Cast. Um, <laughs> if you have any conspiracy theorists theories you want us to hear about. <laughs> leave them in the comments below but make sure no um oh, dude. susceptible actually... people are listening or watching so um goodbye <laughs>